Well, we'll start today by introducing you to Gary. This is Gary Goldeneye. And Gary is a pretty old taxidermy specimen that's been in our lab for Lord knows how long. You can see his feet are not the greatest shape in the world. But uh, he's around today and Gary is gonna pretend that he's a prairie chicken today. Uh, because I've got some prairie chicken leg bands that I want to show, show you and share with you how we, how we use some different types of bands. First of all, let's talk about uh, color bands. And this is a wraparound type of a color band. Um, so we've also got various other colors, red, green, ye yellow, white, and they all have numbers on them. But they've got this wraparound feature. And you can see that you can see the number from two different sides of the leg after the thing is put on. So this is a pretty easy installation. Once you have the, the animal securely captured and held, we'll move Gary's leg over here. Now, Gary's leg <laughs> is golden eye duck sized. Uh, prairie chicken's got a slightly bigger leg, but you'll get the idea. And so keeping the leg secure, you just Put that on there and let it wrap and that's how you would put on this band again for the sake of demonstration today we're using this uh, golden eye taxidermy specimen but this is much too uh, loose if we were doing this for real we'd have to go get a real uh, size the right the right size leg band to to put on this this golden eye so that's the, that's the color band, and we might use those for behavioral observations where we need to be reciting an animal. For prairie chickens, we use those as we watch the males on the lex, and we watch females come onto the lex, and we can identify individuals during those behavioral observations. All right, so the other string of bands that I have here, there's uh, 100 or thereabouts aluminum leg bands, and these are the standard... Um, Sunday go to meeting type of uh, leg band that you're going to use on anything from a hummingbird to a swan. And, um, and they're sized appropriately for each sized bird. I want to emphasize these bands happen to be state bands. Um, we would not put this on waterfowl. Uh, so Gary's being nice to let us use him today, our little golden eye here. But we would use those again in uh, pheasant or prairie chicken research projects when we're collaborating with our Nebraska Game and Parks Commission. And so these are bands that, that we have for collaborative projects with them. And they're literally, uh, you can see the number here. We've already used uh, three numbers off this band string. So we've got 13 dash and then three numbers and then this is 004. So we already used numbers off this, but one of the nice things that we should do is uh, because here we can see that we've got um, 005, right? And so we use them in the order that they come off the, the string. Now, we've got to get that on there. And so this is a pair of banding pliers and there's a variety of different styles. This one is nicely made to stick this little split uh, design here into the band and then we use a reverse let me back up Gary just a little bit here and show you so we we reverse the pliers and push on the one side to open up the band all right this pliers is fitted to be the same size as the leg bands that we're putting on and so you can see when it's closed, it fits nice and tightly and it'll help us close that leg band uh, nice and squarely. And we want, the, we'll see how good I do here. We want our the split in the band to be nice and straight like this, nice um, and level here so that there's uh, nothing to catch on vegetation, um, nice and tight in terms of the two ends coming next to each other. So we get Gary back over here, we get our band, we make sure we've got it with the number in the proper position, and we just slip that on the bird, 
Again, it's a little easier today because we've got this text to room out, but you'd be holding or have someone else helping you hold the bird while you're doing this. And then we simply tighten to the full extent possible. Now, again, notice that this bird's leg is a little uh, small for this band. So I've got it on there. I'm going to do some finishing touches because you might be able to see, let me get it up tight. I didn't get it quite square with each other. Uh, there's a little gap in there. Um, first, I check to make sure that I don't have any kind of vertical adjustments to make. Um, if, if I hadn't got it completely square, I can take this opportunity to push on one side or the other to, to square it up. And then I'm just going to very gently, because I don't want to overdo this and busticate it <laughs> so that it's inside each other, but I'm just going to very gently work my pliers right on that tip using, using the edge of the pliers there. And I've got the other side on the back side. And so now we've got a much more flush band ends meeting together. Um, vegetation can't get in there. And so that's how we would put on a leg band. And the next time we see Gary, if we do see him again, um, and in Nebraska, for example, with these bands, hunters are reporting to the Game of Parks Commission. There's actually a, a phone number. I'll cover up part of it on here. But there's a phone number. It says contact Nebraska Game and Parks Commission. There's a phone number. And, um, and you can call and report that leg band uh, number. And we keep track of movements that way. And so that's leg banding.